Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today is just a slight diversion and it's more MATLAB Easter eggs. And just to say one thing that this came courtesy of the MATLAB tweet and there's the full source that I gave it from. So some MATLAB unusual commands. So just to stress, uh, it's not my work. Um, the idea came from uh, the, the source in line two. So we're broken it up into sections and we're going to run it a section at a time. So we just run the section. So we've tied up the workspace and we're just going to run load handle and the sound. So we'll just run that section there. Okay, so you get handle. Next one up, Y. Run the section. And we look at the command window here, you just get, well, randomness, you, some might say silliness, but we just leave it at that. And every time you run it, you'll get a different answer. Uh, the image command, run the section. And when we run that, it's coming up any second now. Yeah, you just get the image of an inverted boy, nothing great about that at all. Um, images and video, there's the command, run the section. And you'll see it pop up now, we just read in a bit of the space shuttle taking off. It'll take a second or two to get going. Okay, shut that down. And if we just look at the command window here, uh, you can see the various images being read in, and then we've read in the images and you can play it as a file. Back to here, um, just play the logo and run that section. And you just get the MATLAB logo, and if you want, uh, you can just start playing with it. Okay. So you just get this sort of torus effect. Again, you can spin it for a cruder. And you've got a heat map, etc. Uh, the earth map command, one section. And again, if we just give it a chance, you can just spin it. And you can, you can see there, it picks up the time and it gives the darkness, etc. Okay. Uh, here we're going to get uh, eigenvalues and singular values. And you can just compute it there. And you can just play with it anyway. And you can just singular value decomposition. You can just get the the results there from a drop down menu. Uh, truss, uh, two dimensional truss about to run here. Uh, start and then you can just 12 is the fastest. You just see the truss flexing. Uh, stop that. Close. So the wave equation for an L-shaped membrane coming up, vibes. Okay. World travel coming up next. So we want to go from London to oh, Moscow and fly and it just gives you the distance pops up here and if you just fly again it just gives you the shortest distance there okay 
close oh, might have run into a little bit of trouble okay shut that down next one just generates a heart that's okay there just silliness I suppose is the place we're putting it see what happens here you can see down here Simulink is being called hopefully this will work for me just maximize that And you just get that simulation there from the using the uniform random number and the slider. And yep. Uh, next one is the fifteen squares. Now doing this before I'm gonna say I had a bit of trouble just getting this to go ah there we are so we just moved the squares around in the sliding puzzle game close next one is not I'm sorry, there's my knot. Just nothing too great about that. Go back to the MATLAB's commands. There is chaotic attractor coming up. And you can play with the commands up there. You can uh, tic tac. Well, you can start in advance. So here we go. And you can play tic tac toe. I probably lose. Okay, etc. We've had enough. Spy. Just get a dog up. Wine sweeper. Okay, close. 
and get the quadrature up now and by changing the sliders you can change the shape you can get ellipsoids and spheres if you play with it enough okay and finally XP sound so you can change the Chinese gone you can see this time sequence sorry if that was a bit loud deaf of me with my eardrums power spectral display I'm not going to play it again because it's very loud and spectrogram okay close that's a bit of diversion. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.